What is up guys, AshbyFC here, and welcome to the Weekly Ramble. So sorry if I sound a little bit weird, I've just got this cold that will not fuck off, and it's doing me head in. Also, this camera's still doing me head in, because it's still lagging like an absolute bastard, and I just cannot fix it, I've tried everything, it's just being an absolute bastard, so... I think the only solution left is to set it on fire, which is going to happen very soon, but, um... We have to put up with it for a little while longer, because I just... I ain't spending money on a new camera right now, I just, I just ain't having it, so I've got to put up this little piece of shit for a little while longer, and then I will set it on fire. Also, I'm having to hold the microphone here, which is really annoying, because it's kind of heavy. Um, but I told you last week I got a new desk. It's an awesome desk, but when I put the microphone on it, it creates this really annoying buzz through it. It must be like the vibrations or something, so I'm going to have to get some sort of stand to stop that from happening, but I'm going to have to hold it for the time being, so this isn't good, is it? Anyway, um, so... Really nothing to talk about really in you know in terms of walkthroughs. Still Shamu 2 and Uncharted coming along very, very slowly. Don't really seem to be getting anywhere with those, do I just I just ain't getting the videos out, so yeah, you know, I'm trying. I should probably try harder. But um yeah, so they're still going on. Um So I think the last couple of weeks I've been having a rant and I about you know, I was trying to record PS3 with the HD60 and the exact copy thing, and then I was all that shite with the HDMI splits. I bought one that didn't work, and I had to buy a more expensive one, and that finally came, and then I didn't realise it was an American product, so I had to get an adapter, and that style was really annoying me, but uh, I got the adapter, and it's working now. I can actually capture PS3 footage with the HD60, so I will be able to do the Yakuza 3 in the future. Because if it weren't working this time, that was going to be it, because I won't piss arsing around with any more of that crap, but yeah, so this will be happening. Yakuza 3 will be happening. And I'm looking forward to it, but it's going to take me a freaking lifetime to finish, you know, the other two things that are going on right now. But, um, anyway, let's talk about this. This is Creed Syndicate. It, well, I guess it officially launched today, didn't it, because it's Friday. I got it yesterday. I've played it for a, about a couple of hours or so, I think, somewhere around there. And I'm actually enjoying it. Yeah, it's. I think it's good so far. I mean, you know, I'm only towards in my mind could change, but I am surprised. I so far I think it's a good game. Um, I mean, Unity, Unity was a pile of shit. I mean, that game was just a mess. Um, this isn't. This is. This is definitely better than Unity. I was thinking that Unity was kind of the nail in the coffin for these ass creatures. I thought, oh, here we go. It's just all, you know, it's screwed from here on out. But no, I think it's Ubisoft have um, got it back on track with Syndicate. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really liking what I've played so far. Um, you know, I mean, it works. No falling through the floor, no missing faces, no the god, no you know, just if you played Unity, you know how broken that frigging game was, absolute disgrace. But yeah, no, this one seems to work fine. I've not had any problems with it so far. Although to be honest, I wasn't expecting another broken mess because Ubisoft are retarded, but they're not that retarded. Are they to release two broken sacks of shit, you know, they wouldn't be able to get away with it, would they? If they'd have done that again, I think that would have killed the series. But, um, yeah, I'm liking the two main characters, um, what they call Jacob and Evie, it's pretty cool, you can, like, switch between them whenever you want, that's pretty awesome. And I am loving the, um, whole Victorian London setting, because I wasn't too sure at first, when, you know, it was first revealed, I was kind of like, eh, I don't think I'd like that setting in the Assassin's Creed game. But no, I'm actually, I think it's really friggin' awesome, I'm liking it. I think I even miss swords a little bit. I mean, you know, with this being, you know, Victorian era, you know, people didn't carry swords at this point, so... I do think I miss swords a little bit, but, you know, it's still cool. But the uh, story seems pretty interesting. Um, yeah, just overall enjoying it, so I'm happy to see Assassin's Creed uh, looking like it's got back on track. I do think the next one, though, I think next year's game will be back to being a pile of shit. That's my prediction. But um, I hope for the next game... It won't do it, but I want to see. I want to. I want to go back to the pirate stuff because Black Flag was so friggin' good. Uh, I'd love to see him go back to the pirate stuff. I miss. I miss the pirate stuff. So I hope they go back to that at some point. But yeah, so far, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It's pretty good. I mean, you know, I'll let you know. I'll give you my thoughts. You know, when I've got further run into the game. You know, if my mind's changed or if you know, I continue to like it. So yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. 
Oh yeah, and I got the reason I got the PS4 version is because you know, when it comes to multi-platform games, I usually always get them on PC. But uh, well, one, the PC version for some reason isn't launching um, for I think another month actually. And well, this is Ubisoft. It is a very, very, very bad idea to get Ubisoft games on PC. Uh, but trust me, I know. Uh, I'd like to think the reason the PC version isn't coming out for another month is because they're trying to make sure it's actually a decent port and well optimized. But I guess we'll see, but even if it was launching, you know, the same day as the console version, I still would have gone for PS4 because I just don't trust Ubisoft when it comes to PC. Because um, uh, Unity was the worst on PC. Even with all the patches, it's still a bit of a mess now. In fact, it doesn't actually work properly on Windows 10. So, um, they're probably not going to fix it, are they? So, yeah, fuck Unity. Anyway, there's a couple of other games I'm going to be picking up. I think next, be next Friday, what, the 30th? Uh, which is, yeah, next Friday, that kind of sucks, because I'm, I'm working all next weekend, so that's not great timing, but um, WWE 2K16 is coming out on the 30th, and um, Fatal Frame 5 on the Wii U is also coming out on the 30th, um, so I'm going to be getting those. Um, probably going to be a mistake for me to get the WWE game, because I've not liked the WWE games for quite some time, and I've haven't been a wrestling fan, don't watch wrestling anymore, it's been quite some time since, it's been a few years since I've actually properly watched WWE, but um, he's got Stone Cold, he's like one of the main focuses, you can play through his career and stuff, and he's my all time favourite, I grew up watching him during the Attitude Era, so that's kind of why I want to get the game, although I'm probably going to end up hating it, but I'm going to get it anyway, and yeah, I'm really excited for Fatal Frame, uh, I think it's already launched in um, the US, I think it launched on earlier this week or something. Um, digital only for some reason. I don't think there's a physical version available, is there, on um, in North America? But we are getting a physical version here in Europe. But for some reason, it's game exclusive, and I hate freaking game because they suck. And it's like the limited edition only, which costs like 50 quid. So that's kind of annoying. I, it comes, it's like one of those little boxes with a. It's got like a, a steel case thing in it in the art book. But I, was, I don't want that crap. I just want the damn game. That's that's a strange release. No physical copy in North America, and then limited edition only in the UK. Like, what are you doing, Nintendo? Why do you just do such weird shit? But uh, I am really looking forward to that game because I love Fatal Frame. I think it's one of the best horror series. It, I think GameSpot gave it a five in their review, but it's GameSpot, so who gives a shit? I don't pay any attention to like reviews off GameSpot or IGN. I don't really pay attention to any of the reviews because it's just one person. You know, I'm pretty sure I like it, and I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, Phil for him. And um, within the next couple of weeks, possibly next week or the week after, uh, I'm gonna be getting Xbox One. But because um, <laughs> Rise of the Tomb Raider is the main reason I want it, because I'm super excited for that game. When does Rise of the Tomb Raider launch? Uh, for some reason, I've got the seventh in my head, but that could be very wrong. It's early November anyway, isn't it? But, um... It's the same day as Fallout 4, which is very annoying. I've I'm, 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 probably got the date wrong there, but it's it's early November anyway. But, um... Yeah, I'm getting Xbox One, but... The the new Elite model is coming out as well. Uh, I think, I've, like, the 2nd or the 3rd of November, or something like that. It's the one with the... It's got the one terabyte hard drive, solid, well, solid state drive, um, and, you know, apparently it's got that fancy pro control thing, and uh, apparently it loads stuff up, like, 20% faster or something like that, but it's 400 quid. That's mentally that 400 quid for a console. But the stupid idiot nerd inside of me is saying, like, get the, get, you know, get the Elite, get the new, shiny new console, it's a new one, get it. Spend 400 quid. And the other side of me is like, no, don't do that, you idiot. Just get a regular Xbox One. You do not need to spend 400 quid on the Elite version. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm having this fight in my head of what to do. I just... I shouldn't get... <laughs> I should just get a regular one, shouldn't I? But I just can't help myself. Sometimes I'm real stupid. Knowing me, I'll end up... This will 400 quid on a console. That is stupid. And especially when I'm only really getting it for one game rather than the Tomb Raider. I should be very sensible should I just get a regular Xbox. But watch me go and get an Elite. I won't be... I'll just cave in and end up getting an Elite. We'll see what happens. Try and... What do you guys think? It's stupid, isn't it? Spending 400 quid. There's no need for Elite, is there? But, uh, yes, I am... Either way, I will be getting an Xbox. Um, possibly next week or the week after. So, yes. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to talk about. 
So, um, as always, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.